Thank you for choosing Vetric and welcome to your trial software. Here, you're able to make the most of your trial experience. I will guide you through all of the options to help you get started, from looking at the trial tutorials, free projects, and the option to create your very own Beanco account, all of which I'll show you shortly. First off, let's take a tour of the software. We're going to show you how to navigate your way around the program to get you started. There are differences between the different products depending on what features are available, but the interface itself is pretty consistent throughout. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use Aspire to show you around the user interface. So over on the left hand side of your screen is our startup tasks. Here we can create a new file, or we can choose to open an existing file that we have previously worked on and saved. Or we can search our computer for the file and load it into the software. We also have the option to open a file that we have recently opened that is displayed here under recently opened files. So let's begin by creating a new project. The first thing that you need to do is set up your job type and the job dimensions. Then we can set up the way that we want to set up our part in relation to the Z0 position and the XY0 datum position on our machine. For those that have 3D programs, so Aspire and VCarv Pro and VCarv Desktop, you'll see this option here to set your modeling resolution. Then we can simply press OK to get going. Upon creating or opening a file, you'll be presented with this view here. Over to the left, I have my design tab with all the design tools that I need to create a project. Here is my 2D view, and I can also use this option to tile my windows so that I can see both the 2D and the 3D view. And this is where I can create my 2D design on the left in the 2D view. And if I create or import any 3D models, I will see them here in the 3D view, as well as previewing my toolpath simulation. Where we have the toolpaths tab on the right hand side of the interface. And we'll come back to this shortly. Within the design tab, I have access to all of the drawing and editing tools to help me draw up a project within the drawing tab, which is open by default, where I have the ability to open and save files. I can import vectors and bitmaps. Then I have a selection of vector drawing tools available where we can draw shapes, we can draw lines, we can create textures, and we can look at creating text. Let's have a look at an example of that now. So simply click on the draw text button and that will open up the create text form where we can enter in text and see in real time how that text appears within our 2D view. We can select our position by clicking in the 2D view. And then if we wanted to, we could go ahead and choose a font from our machine. In this case, we'll go with this font here and then just type in the text that you want to add in. We have various other options to control the look of the text. And then to finish up, we can simply close out. We have various options to transform objects sizing the objects and rotating them. And there's lots of tools to help you edit the objects. At the bottom, there are various tools to help you to offset an array of vectors. And if you are using pro software, then you have the ability to nest your parts as well. If your product has a modeling tab, you will find all of the modeling tools available here. Aspire has lots of options to create your own 3D models and VCarve Pro and Desktop will show you a smaller selection to help you assemble your 3D models, where all of your components will be visible here within the component tree. If your product has a clip art tab, here is where your clip art can be accessed from. 
Then there is the Layer tab to help organize your 2D data that can also be accessed permanently from the top view bar for ease of use. Once you're happy with your design, we can then look into creating the toolpaths. We can use this icon here to switch to the toolpaths tab, but this will temporarily close the design tab and it opens up the toolpaths tab on the right hand side of the user interface. At the top is where we set up our material for machining. Then we have a series of icons that represent the different toolpath strategies, where the top row will display the 2D toolpaths, such as the profile and the pocket strategy. The second row will show all of the 2.5D toolpath strategies, for example, V-carving, fluting, moulding, and then the third row will display all of the 3D toolpaths, so that's the 3D roughing and the 3D finishing toolpath. Now this toolpath selection will vary depending on what product you have. Let's take a look at one of these. Let's say I wanted to v-carve the text using a v-bit tool. All you need to do is select the text and go into the v-carve toolpath. Simply select the tool and then press calculate. Once we've calculated the toolpath, the software will automatically open up the preview toolpath form where we're able to see the toolpath being simulated as though it would on our CNC machine. We have further options to alter the material that it's simulated in and we can even animate the simulation with a tool too to give us a good representation of what we'd expect to see if we were to machine this. Press preview and we can adjust the speed to watch the toolpath in action. Once you're happy, you can simply press close. If you need any help with any of the icons in the form and to learn more about the tools, then you can simply click on the question mark where you'll be directed to the documentation where you can read everything there is to know about that particular tool. To watch a more in-depth overview of the software, then you can watch one of our many video tutorials that you can find from the dashboard. So let's take a look at that now. So let's just simply go to File, Close. So here we can use this button to view our tutorial set. And if we click on that, that'll open up uh, your browser where we're able to take a look at all of the training content. We've got various tutorial categories. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to take a look at the vector drawing tutorials. I can click on that and you'll see below that's updated that and I can browse through the various tutorials that we've got available. For example, let's say I wanted to take a look at the banners and ribbons tutorial. All I do is simply click on this play button and that's going to open up that particular video where we could go ahead and press play to watch the video and follow along. If I wanted to download the files for this tutorial, I can do by pressing this download button and then the browser will download an executable that we can then run to download those files onto our machine. We can then go ahead and run that to bring that onto uh, our PC. So if we bring that in, we can just press the next option, agree to the terms and conditions, select which product you are using. So in this case, Aspire Trial Edition, we can install that. And then the software will then tell us uh, that our tutorial has successfully been added into our public documents folder. So we can okay that uh, and then we can go ahead and open that up in the software. So back to the software, we can use this option here to open the tutorial files folder and then we can locate that banners and ribbons folder. We can see the folder has been added there but we can then go ahead and simply open up uh, the file that we wanted. Okay, and there it is. And then we can follow along to the tutorial um, to see how this file was created. 
If you would like to test the compatibility of our software with your CNC machine, then you can do this using one of the sample projects that we have available. Simply click on this option here to view sample files, where your browser will open up the free trial compatible projects page from the Vetric website. Here you can browse through the project collection and see all of the projects that will be compatible to cut on the free trial software. When you see a project you like the look of, simply click on the project. Here well, you'll see a little description about the project. You can press play on the video to take a look at the project and learn how the project was created. And then you have the option here to download the project, where that will be saved into your downloads folder. Where you can then right click on the folder to extract the files out of the zip folder and you'll have access to them here. So we can go back into our trial software and then we could go ahead and open an existing file where we can search for the downloaded folders um, which we can see over here. So here is the tic-tac-toe and I can simply open up let's say the board file and you'll see the software will display an important message for you to read and then you can OK that where you're then able to take a look at the toolpaths and then you can go ahead and save out those toolpaths uh, to the appropriate post processor for your CNC machine. It's worth noting here that you aren't able to edit um, any of the files for machining. Uh, you just have to go with what we have here. Okay, so you just go ahead and save that out uh, into your appropriate folder and then you can run those files on your CNC machine. And if you wanted to create your own file, you can simply go to File, New to create your own file, bearing in mind that the files that you create here, you aren't able to machine on your CNC. We've recently introduced a brand new laser module to our product range. This module can be purchased in addition to any of our core products, including Cut2D Desktop, Cut2D Pro, VCarve Desktop, VCarve Pro or Aspire, but is not available as a standalone product. However, you can trial the laser module in conjunction with any of our core products by simply clicking on the help menu within the software and then choosing trial laser module. At this point, you'll see a warning that this is an add-on module and will need to be purchased separately. So we can simply hit OK and in order for this module to be applied, we need to restart the software where the software will automatically do that for us if we press yes here. With the software restarted, we can create a new file and if we go over to the toolpaths tab, you can see the two extra laser toolpaths have been added in. There is the laser cut and fill toolpath and then there is the laser picture toolpath. We've included a selection of CNC and laser projects compatible with our free trial software, enabling you to check it's right before you purchase. Simply head over to www.vetric.com slash laser module to learn more. To remove the module from your trial, simply go back to the help menu, click on trial laser module, where you'll be prompted to restart the software again, and that will take the laser options out the next time that you go into the software. Become part of the Vetric community by creating your very own VNCO account. Within your VNCO account, you will have access to our free projects, case studies, upcoming events, video tutorials, and all the latest from our social media channels, all within one place. From here, you'll be able to purchase, download, or upgrade any of the Vetric products. At the bottom of the interface, you have the option to explore the Vectric Forum. This is a great place to get inspiration, tips and advice from people who have been using the software for many years.
To stay up to date, why not sign up to receive our monthly newsletter? You can click here where you can sign up using your email address. If you still have questions after trialling our software, please send an email to our dedicated support team at support at They'll be more than happy to help. If you're happy with everything that you've seen, then you can click on the shopping cart icon to purchase your software. We want to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Vetric Software.